G.J. Hawkins, Pastor Hawkins, thank you so much for being with us. And I know you were out there peacefully protesting in Atlanta. You were marching. Tell us what it was like initially. It was amazing. It was very well organized. Uh, people were really unified. It was really cool to see people of all nationalities come together for one purpose. And it was obviously to um, remember the life of George Ford, but also to just uh, call for justice. And I think that in those first uh, few hours of the protest from about 12 to 6 p.m., it was a really unified experience for me. Right, which is exactly what the intent was. But then something changed. Tell me when things got violent. What was your reaction? What did you see in here? So yeah, uh, things got violent closer uh, towards 7, 8 p.m. And honestly, um, in that moment, I was very disappointed. Um, but then I started to remember that all of the good that was done that day um, really was impactful for me. That was my first protest. And so it was a historical um, event for me to be a part of. But when those things started to happen, I kind of felt a little disappointed, but I understand that people are very angry and the means by which we all express that anger is gonna look different. So I try not to undermine their uh, pain and their passion and what they feel, but I also think that we can probably come up with better, more organized and strategic ways to bring about the change that all of us want. Yeah, and, and, and so beautifully put. And, and you didn't just talk about it, you decided to do something after the fact. Mm -hmm. You got in to help rebuild, to clean up. Talk about what that effort has been like. It's been amazing because it wasn't just me. And I would be um, very remiss to try to take all of the credit. Uh, my mom joined me. My wife was with me, even friends uh, that I know uh, through just uh, Christian community. But um, I think that um, just seeing the community in the city of Atlanta come together, um, even certain um, former NFL players were out there cleaning up this past weekend. And it was just amazing to see that uh, even though we all want the same thing, like we're still for our city. And many of us showed that by way of cleaning up. What are you hearing from those small business owners who had their businesses damaged and then they see you coming in to help? Oh, they're, they're really appreciative. Uh, some people, I'm not going to lie, uh, they don't, they, it's hard for them to tell the difference between protesters and looters. So some of them are a little off put and they don't really want some of the help. But then you have other uh, small business owners who definitely welcome the help from the community. And uh, that's been a really cool experience because it's opened my eyes to see some of the um, amazing small businesses that we have in our great city of Atlanta. So it's been cool to kind of meet some of them and even help partner with them and trying to uh, rebuild and clean up their, uh, their businesses. It's, incre cool. it, it, it's incredible. And, and Pastor, I know you mentioned this, people chose to and choose to protest in many different ways, but talk about how people can channel that anger as they continue yes. to protest peacefully. Yes, I think that what we need is more strategic, uh, excuse me, strategic, um, organized um, events. And I think that if we come together and actually uh, do our research on what we want to see past um, as far as like legislations are concerned, I think there we can really start to make some really um, great impact. But I also think that the protests, at least the peaceful ones, are doing um, a lot of good as well. So I definitely, until we see what you know we'd like to see justice served in the end, I would definitely like to see us just continue to come together peacefully if we can do that apart from the violence and the looting. But I think that if we come together and really sit down and have conversations amongst one another, I think we'll be able to see um, and reason out like what we can do to like really make a difference. Uh, but I think it starts with just regular conversations it, it does and and with everything you're doing and saying and, and it begins with each individual and you are leading the way pastor gj hawkins thank you so much for being with us today thank you guys and we turn now to dr jen ashton for her final thoughts so you